Hi, we're Scott and Julia, and today we're going to teach the rumba. So, we'll start in a close position. My second favorite is called Rumba Rocks. We're going to step forward for a slow. We're going to keep going forward and go quick, quick, slow. I've taught this before. Quick, quick, slow. Then side together, step backward. Then I rock back with my left foot. Quick, quick, slow. Then my right foot. Quick, quick, slow. Then back to up. And then you already know this pattern. I must not have gone very well last time. So, so let's go straight into this pattern. We all know our box step already. We're going into rumba rocks. I step forward with my left legs backward. Now I bring my right foot forward and then I start rocking. So the first step is slow. Bring the right foot forward toward rocking place. Quick, quick, slow. Then bring the left foot forward to rocking place. Quick, quick, slow. Then we go side together, side together, back. Now guys, bring your left foot back and start to rock. Quick, quick, slow, right foot back to rock. Quick, quick, slow, then back to our box step. Let's repeat that just a couple times and we'll partner up. I like these steps a lot because they really focus on what rumba is about. Rumba is about moving your hips, right? No. This is about moving the hips. What am I moving? Your top. So you can't see, so if you keep your shoulders a little more still, then you can see the hip action a little better. So, rumba rocks, let's go right on into it. We're going to step forward for it. slow, bring the next leg forward for rock. Quick, quick, slow, rock. Quick, quick, slow. We've got side together and backward. Step another step back, start your rock. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Slow and back into the box. So you dance position. What we like is the ladies' arm to be nice, but nice square and round. Square and round. So the arm isn't straight forward, and it's, it's just slightly curved, but there's no bending to the arm. So it should be nice and round. So, so her arm would go around me. Now my contact is always the wrist. It's never a part on her back. If you put your hand on her back, you often lose the wrist contact. And I always want the wrist to underarm contact. Now, if the guy is really tall, we just adjust the arm down. And if he's really short, you just set it on his head. <laughs> no ideas, ladies. They're taller than me. So, dance yeah, just like this. This arm, you can have it touching, some people like that. It's whatever you prefer, but it's, gen but it's generally more in front of your body. Whereas the box drops and walls is our, where our arms are further out from our body and we're closer. So we want to be more in front of each other. With the uh, box trap waltz, I usually have a head's distance between us so I can see where I'm going, but in rumba, I just want to look in her eyes. <laughs> Listen hard, man. Listen up. So, you should look right into her eyes. Right? Should be offset by about her nose. But it's more square in front of you. Now the lead for such a step. I always talk about dancing is hypnosis. Have I ever hypnotized everybody? I've already done that? All right, I'll do it again when I have more time. I love hypnotizing people. Anyway, she's hypnotizing in the box step right now. How do I let her know that I want her to go straight backward instead of to the side? I do that by back weighting my partner. What that means is when I step forward, I give a little extra so her, so she's going to try to stop, but she's going to feel a little back weighted and actually get her weight pitched behind. Now there's certain levels of what we're talking about. If I'm leading a total stranger and I want to leave that, I'm going to kind of manipulate her a little bit and get her a little backward so she's going to step backward. If I'm a little more advanced, as we step slow, I got time to slide my foot, strut my body forward, have good resistance in the arms. But for just the basic principle of getting your lady to go backward instead of side, move on top of her a little bit more. I say these with a very scared face. I say it loosely, but that's the idea of instead of her stopping and going to the side like she's programmed to do, we're going to step forward and try to add a little more forward pressure so that she'll fall backwards. This is social dancing, not competitive dancing. And that's what you do in real life. You hold your partner nice and strong, and you got to sometimes lead a little bit more aggressively than others. All right. 